So you can step sequence using push um, with either a drum instrument or a melodic instrument, but we'll start with a drum instrument. Turn this on, turn it up a little bit. Okay. There we go. All right. So, a couple of things I'm going to do. First thing is I'm going to turn the metronome off because it's just a little bit annoying. Um, and I'm going to change fixed length to one bar. So just press and hold it and press one bar just to simplify things a little bit. And I'm going to get rid of that. I'll tell you what I'll do actually. I'll delete that clip and then we'll get going again. Okay. So, we've created a one bar clip because fixed length is set to one bar. The pads on push are counting through that one bar. If I turn the metronome on just for a little bit, you'll be able to see it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Yeah, okay. And we can put in a pattern of sounds. All you need to do is select the pad that houses the sample that you want to sequence, like for example that. Press the pad, the pad will go blue, and now you've step sequenced your sound. Okay, so that's really, really quick, isn't it, to get started? Very, very quick indeed. There are a couple of other things you can do once once you develop that. Um, if we look at the left hand side here, we've got a few buttons where you can interact with clips. One of the things you can do is duplicate, so it's just above the new button, right? But I'm just gonna run the sequencer and then I'll press the duplicate button and watch what happens here. Okay, so it created a copy of that clip. These things here incidentally are called clips. It created a copy of the clip which was exactly the same and the idea is that you can build up an arrangement of various different clips by expanding upon the previous one. So for that second one I might add whatever. And you can just, you can just keep duplicating and keep building them up. If you want to extend the length of the clip, there's a couple of different things you can do. You can go to the double button there, which is just above quantize. Again, I'll run it and I'll press double and watch what happens down here. Okay, so it's changed it from a one bar clip to a two bar clip and it's taken all of the material from the first bar and it's copied it over to the second bar. 